using the BibleGet plugin. Activating a Google Fonts API key. Once you have installed the BibleGet plugin, you can go to the settings page either from the plugins page under BibleGet.io. You can see there's a link to the settings, or you can go to your admin settings area and you'll find BibleGet.io there too. Go to your BibleGet.io settings and you'll see there's a possibility of adding the Google Fonts API key. If you do not already have a Google Fonts API key, you can follow the link that is provided and activate your own API key. Initially, when you activate the key, it will be open to any kind of connection from any IP address. You will probably want to restrict the connections to server IP addresses. You would choose IP addresses, web servers, cron jobs, etc. And then the best practice would be to restrict it to specific IP addresses so that only your own server can make connections to the Google Fonts API using your API key. You'll want to check what your IP address is of your server where your website is hosted to make sure you can make connections from that. IP address. If you don't know what your server's IP address is, the settings page here will help you out where it says press here. Just hold down and it'll show you the IP address that you need to use in your Google Fonts API activation process. Once you've had that activated, and again be patient, it might take a few minutes for it to take effect on the Google server, you can Add your API key here and save your changes. The BibleGet plugin will run a validity check on this API key just to make sure that it was typed in correctly and that the plugin is able to connect to the Google Fonts API using this key with this IP address. A preview of the Google Fonts will be downloaded locally to your own website in the plugins folder so that you'll be able to see a preview of the Google Fonts in your WordPress customizer when you go to customize the style for your Bible quotes. This will take a minute or two, so just let it run. Around 25% or so it might stall for a little bit, but then it'll pick up again. Just be patient. What it's doing here is, see it did pick up again. What it's doing is downloading a reduced version of each one of the Google fonts that's available. Instead of downloading the whole font, it's downloading a reduced version with just the characters that make up the name of each font so that you'll be able to preview that font with its own name. It's still a little, quite a bit of information, so it takes a little while to download. And I've tried to optimize it to the point where it shouldn't have too much of an impact on your WordPress customizer, but that may depend on the specs of your machine. Being on the back end, it's not going to impact your site visitors, people viewing from the front end. This is only a functionality that will be visible or useful on the back end in your WordPress customizer. Now what happens if the validity check doesn't go through? You won't see the green valid indicator here. You would see instead some kind of an error message telling you what the problem is. If, for example, you didn't type in the IP address correctly, or you used a, the wrong IP address and the BibleGet plugin isn't able to communicate with the Google Fonts API using this key with this IP address, it would tell you what the problem is. Let's say, for example, it just didn't take effect yet on the Google Fonts API. You'd have, in that case, 
button that would let you try again. So just try that button every once in a while until it does connect to the Google Fonts API and gives you the valid green valid indicator. There we go. Now, when you open your WordPress customizer, appearance, customize, under the Bible get plugin styles, general paragraph styles, and here we can even find a page that has a Bible quote in it so that you can see the effect. General paragraph styles, font family for Bible quotes. You will now have almost a thousand fonts available from the Google Fonts API. See, it didn't take too long to open up the select drop down, and you still have a preview of each one of the fonts. So there's not too much of an impact on the performance. Garamond is a nice one, for example. But I personally have been liking the Quattrocento. I think I'll leave it at Quattrocento for now. That's very nice. Publish. And now only the Quattrocento font will be requested from the Google Fonts server when you open a page with a Bible quote. One more thing that's worth noting is that you can refresh the list of fonts. It won't be refreshed for three months. The API key will be valid for three months. And after those three months are up, and you can see here when the three months will be up, when the three months are up and you open up the Bible Get settings, it will communicate again with the Google Fonts API to refresh the list of fonts. And if there's a new font, it will download the preview for that font too. If for any reason you would like to refresh the list of fonts before those three months are up, you just have to click here and it will check if there's any new fonts. Thank you for watching.